And off we go from Las Vegas. And he won't quite make it to the 25. So here's the first drive now for the Jags. They're led by the number one overall pick in the 2021 draft, Trevor Lawrence. The word is potential, potential, potential. Think about this guy from the time he was in high school, one of the top prospects going to college, coming out of college, mentioned as a generational type quarterback. He looks the part. Tall, big arm, surveys the field. It can take off and run when under duress. The drive will start with an option going left. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 11 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it. Most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. Kirby Joseph there to drop him. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Out of the gun, it's Lawrence. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. That one a pickup of 15 for Jacksonville. When the spotlight is at its brightest, and let's face it, it's the Super Bowl, those types of plays come out, don't they? Absolutely. A big-time catch on the biggest of stages. Do you think that that one's going to live on? We're going to see this for a long definitely time. definitely going to live on forever with him, that's oh, for sure. No doubt. On first and ten, it's Lawrence. This one complete to Christian Kirk. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Motion man left is Kirk. They'll fake it on the jet sweep, and instead, a handoff up the middle. Now, somehow he was able to sidestep that first tackler, but still hit and taken down behind the line. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double-team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. Here's Lawrence. He completes it to Ridley. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. A chance for the first points of this Super Bowl. It's first and goal. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Here's where we need to see some tenacity from this defense because they've been pushed right down the field on this opening drive. They've got to find some way to push back, and that's a good first step. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. From the shotgun, Lawrence toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. They had a good chance to get the first points of the game on the board, but what a great job defensively getting a hand in there, knocking it away, and preventing that first touchdown. A big one here early in this Super Bowl. It's third and goal. Johnson, and he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. Fourth down now after a loss of two. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. So Lawrence will exit, and on comes Brandon McManus for the Jaguar field goal. 
This is a fairly straightforward 22-yard short attempt. The kick by McManus is good. Not the touchdown they wanted, but hey, you're on the road in the playoffs. They did get three on the board. Yeah, it's a good opening drive, so you feel good about it yourself. You get to the sidelines. The defense feels good about you helping them right out of the gate. The team, yeah, they feel pretty good about coming in in the playoffs and getting points on the board right away. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. So here are the Lions now as they get set for their opening drive. They're led onto the field by the former Cal Bear and the number one overall pick in 2016, Jared Goff. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. Here's the 12th overall pick in April's draft, Jameer Gibbs. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Sometimes being a linebacker in the middle of the field is kind of like being a doctor on the field. You got to make the right diagnosis. Here he correctly sends his run and shoots through to make the play in the backfield. On second down, here's Goff. Going underneath, Gibbs has it. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. When you give up points on the opening drive, in this case a field goal, you'd hate to go three and out. They avoid that. They do, and it's also walking that fine line mentally, too, as a coach, isn't it? Because you want to emphasize to your team exactly what you said. All right, we gave up a field goal. Let's go back and at least equal that, guys. But if we don't, you don't want them to feel like it's the end of the world either. Nice that they were able to pick up the first down there, help them relax a little bit. And he has met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. It looked like they had the run stopped at the line of scrimmage, but the hand got up into the face mask, and the officials, they were looking for it. They spotted it. It's an easy call, too, when it's right in front of them. You see that neck twist just a little bit, and that's enough to draw the flag. Now a first down throw. Gone toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. I know tight ends love this route because a lot of times they'll fake a block first and get a little bit of space and then come across the middle because in their mind, they're thinking catch the ball, and then drop the hammer on the little guys in the secondary. Unable to drop the hammer, he just dropped the pass. On oh, second down, here's Gibbs. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They need to make up some ground, and they did. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Goff now looking to throw. And that's to Alvin Ross St. Brown. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 28. A nice pickup of 10 means that this drive will stay on track. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Here's Gaw. That is caught by Laporta. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. A good pickup there, 26 yards. 
Just picking up yardage in bunches here. These last few plays, they have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Gibbs showing off the elusiveness as he's in. Touchdown. Well, and wherever he is on the field, he is certainly slippery with a football in his hands, and he proved it right there. And normally moves like that aren't supposed to work this deep in the red zone because there's not enough space. Normally way more effective when you're working out in the open field. But here, incredible shiftiness, excellent contact balance, and he works his way into the end zone. Riley Patterson now for the extra point. He's got it. They'll see that opening drive field goal and raise it a touchdown, and that makes it 7-3. to three. Patterson back out there to send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20. Looking to throw Lawrence. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. That brings us to the end of one in Super Bowl 58. Much more to come from Las Vegas after this. 7-3 the score. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we are back and ready to go for the second quarter of the Super Bowl. Brandon God and Charles Davis, as always, thrilled to be with you. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to move the sticks with a gain of four on third and inches. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. From the 34 now, here's first and ten. Here's Lawrence to throw. Throw right side, caught by Ridley. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The Jags picking up the first down there, a gain of 12. Well, they obviously red man covers their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Broke yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. And to throw again is Lawrence. Again to Calvin Ridley, and he's got it once more. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. ETN up the middle. And he'll follow his blockers there all the way down to the 23 yard line. 15 yards last play and 15 yards here this go around. Some big plays in the passing game on this drive. And here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and 10. Now Lawrence. 
Big strides, look at him go. And he's brought down after a very nice gain. 23 yards, the final tally. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed, and on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. So an incomplete pass a moment ago, and that leads to second and goal. They'll run it with Johnson. And he'll take this into the end zone. A touchdown, Jacksonville. It's a one-yard touchdown run. And the Jaguars have retaken the lead. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy and they got it done. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. That time, a nine-play drive, and it results in a touchdown for Jacksonville. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Taken at the goal line. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. The Goff's throw complete there to St. Brown. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. Straight ahead with Gibbs here. Still a couple yards short of the first as the three-yard gain brings up a third down. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. A couple extra tight ends in the formation here as they line up third and two. Goff now to throw. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. You think about the great receivers in the game, what do they have in common? The ability to create separation in their routes. Whether it's a head fake, a sharp cut, selling a different route, the subtle bump, it's a tough skill to teach. And this is well done here to get open and pick up the first down. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 47. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming. 
let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Throwing on third, Goff. Setting up the screen, this is Gibbs. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. The Lions passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. Well, I see a defensive coordinator get upset and throw his headset. This is the kind of play that'll do it. You force third and long. This is almost sort of a give up play. You're just hoping to get something positive, and it winds up breaking big, and they convert on third down. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Gibbs straight ahead. Oh, good move. And a broken tackle could not free him. Taken down right at the 10-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. Four yards remain on second down. Ball on the 10. To throw is gone. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. He already came through for them on this drive. No surprise that they were hoping he could do it again. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Gibbs will try and pick it up. That is brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. The Jaguars going to go ahead and use their first timeout. So as they talk it over, we step aside. It's one play at a time, baby. Boy, a call like this, certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. They go ahead and snap it. Go on. Touchdown! Josh Reynolds from eight yards out, and the Lions' decision to go for it pays off with six points. That took a pretty big risk right there, going for it on fourth down. But, hey, not only did they get the first down, forget about that, they got in the end zone. Yeah, because normally you're just thinking, can I get enough yardage to get it past the sticks and pick up a first down? Instead, they go for the end zone and get it done with no margin for error. Remember, fourth down, they went for it. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And the lead is now 14-10. to 10. Patterson back out there to send this one away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Out comes the Jaguar offense now as they get set to take over. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game. And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? Meanwhile, Lawrence's throw here into the hands of Jones. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 
First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. First down now, but that clock rolling. Lawrence. Looking for Ridley on the out route. He's got him. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. Off the play fake. Here's Lawrence. Completes it to Evan Ingram. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 31-yard line. A gain there of 21 yards. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Throwing again here, it's Lawrence. Screenplay, here's ETN. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. Here now, second and four. They go play action now. Lawrence. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. You've always been very good about checking my math. Am I correct? That's the first time that it's been incomplete when they've thrown it to him? Yes, he had caught every other ball coming his way. So they feel like they've got something really good going there, and they're going to continue to go there until the defense makes an adjustment and takes it away. Well, they finally made an adjustment there. We'll see if they can build on that stop. Lawrence going to throw again. That is incomplete. Detroit was up for the challenge through the air. They force a fourth down. But well, that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. The kick by McManus is good. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. So we've arrived at halftime here in Super Bowl 57. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Brandon, back to you, too, in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. In the first half, it was the Alabama man, Jameer Gibb, who had it cooking. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point.
These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. This offense set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had a checklist of things they wanted to accomplish in the first half, certainly at the top of that list would be having the lead, and they've got that here. That's always the most important box to check, isn't it? But also, they've had some success in their passing game, so probably an empty box establishing the run. They're on pace for fewer than 100 yards in this one, so now they want to make sure that they get that going so they truly have a control in this ball game and down the stretch, being able to be balanced, either throw it or run it, and try and win this ball game. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it'll be second down. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Here's Goff now on second down. He's got it complete to Gibbs. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. But well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. Now a first down throw, goal. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Devin Lloyd, the one to get home and earn that sack. Partner, the Mike linebacker, the middle linebacker has so many different responsibilities. How excited do you think he was to get home with that blitz? Yeah, he wants a sack. He got it. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Now gone. And that'll be caught. It's St. Brown. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. It's a gain of 34. They came out with an aggressive mindset to start the third quarter, and I wouldn't be surprised to see them take more of these type of deep shots as this game moves along. They connected there. They expect to connect on more before this one's over. So the big play gets them across midfield now for first and 10. And off now to Gibbs. Tackle made by Foley Fadukasi, the former UConn Husky. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. From the 42-yard line, here's the second down and nine. They'll fake the give. Now gone. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Reynolds. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. There's Laporta, he's got it. Touchdown, Lions. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Lions take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That's almost just not right. You cover everybody, but those tight ends, they can be awfully reliable. Very reliable. It, the defense just has to hate those guys. This drives them crazy because oftentimes you can't match up with them. They have either with size, speed, or maybe even just strength. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And the lead is up to eight. So this drive spans seven plays. And the end result, a Detroit touchdown. Patterson back out there to send this one away.
And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here comes the Jags offense now. Time for their first possession of half number two. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their own 23. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Caught by Jones. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. On the counter, ETN. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. They went counter there offensively, and a couple of defenders were on skates for a second. They certainly were. And you know what offensive linemen love about the counters and the misdirections? Sometimes you don't have to block the defender. He can run himself out of the play if he doesn't read his keys properly. And a hard-earned yard there as he ran through one would-be tackler. It's second down. Second and nine. Now Lawrence to throw. This one caught by Ridley. It'll go down as a gain of six. And this will wind up being a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll run with ETN. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. 42 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. And they'll throw on first down with Lawrence. Man open, here is Jones. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs. Hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Lawrence will throw. That's complete to Travis Etienne out of the backfield. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll bring up second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Now Lawrence to the goal line, but it's incomplete. I know every offense wants to start their snaps closer to the goal line, but it's actually harder to throw the ball in those situations. You throw into that tight coverage, you see what happens. Hard to get the ball in there. Not enough space there. Lucky maybe that it wasn't intercepted. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. It's a throw again is Lawrence. Touchdown, Jaguars! Christian Kirk on the receiving end of that touchdown pass from Trevor Lawrence. And the Jaguars are back within a couple of the lead. Trying to make a comeback often appears daunting, but the only way to get there, start small, score, and worry about getting the next one after that. Lawrence and the Jags offense staying out there. They'll go for two here.
They'll look to throw. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. They made the decision to go for two. They didn't get it. They remained down by two points. Should they have kicked it there? A third quarter, I'm okay with it. Maybe first or second, you don't? I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm again, I keep coming back to, I don't like to chase a lot of points. Yeah. But I also don't know what kicking an extra point being down one does for me. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Getting set to go again here on offense, Jared Goff trots back onto the field. Five for five that last drive. Touchdown pass as well. He was clicking. Receivers, I don't want to be cliche, but running really solid routes too. And what I love about it is when you look across any team, all right, the body types of the receivers are usually different. The way that they get open, different as well. Some of them use power to get open. Some of them use those head fakes and subtle moves. Some of them just use pure speed. And the really good ones, when they're established, they know how to push off at the end of a route too. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down, get to the fourth quarter, try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. Takes this to the 27. Give him four yards. We are through three quarters of play here from Allegiant Stadium in Super Bowl 58. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back in the Super Bowl. Time to decide who gets to hoist that Lombardi trophy as we begin the fourth and final quarter of action. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. From the 50, it's golf. And his throw is incomplete. He's trying to get it to Amon Ross St. Brown, but it'll be second down. From the gun, here's Goff. He finds his man complete. It's Gibbs. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 38-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Here's gone. This is caught. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. 
This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. They give it off here to the tight end. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. A lot can go wrong when you call a play like this down in the red zone, but that's where you appreciate this from your head coach. He's not afraid to trust his guys to do the right thing, and as a player, that means an awful lot. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. Oh, and they sent the man in motion too late. This is going to be a delay. Now the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Still third down. How crucial will those five yards be? We'll see as they come up again here, third and goal. Now Goff. He's got his man. It's caught for a Lion touchdown. Jared Goff with his third touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Lions are starting to pull away in the fourth quarter of this Super Bowl. So a heck of a drive right there with the game potentially hanging in the balance. A very good drive. And now conversion to make it a two-score game and a solid lead. Extra point try now for Patterson. And that makes it a nine-point game. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it's capped off by a touchdown for the Lions. Patterson back out there to send this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Out comes the Jacksonville offense as they get set to take over here. And yeah, the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their own 26. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He'll find ETN out of the backfield. So nothing doing there, and that's going to bring up second down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Second and 10. Here's Lawrence. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. The intended target was Calvin Ridley. And that takes us from second to third down. Now Lawrence. to the sideline and incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was gonna get it. If they're gonna have a shot in this Super Bowl, they're gonna need this one on fourth down. Here we go, gotta have it, Lawrence. And it's gonna be batted down and will go the other way with the football. The Jags come up empty on fourth down. And the Lions will get the football back in terrific field position. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur so they can't let that dream go just yet they have to get stout on defense here yeah right now really hoping for a turnover 
On to give. Here's Gibbs. Oh, what a move. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 40 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. A toss out right to Gibbs. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Another run for Gibbs here. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. Well, I don't think there's any question, Brandon, at this stage. The stop troops, the defensive guys, they've got to use their three timeouts here. They've got to stop them and get the ball back. Yeah, if you're in that two to three score deficit window that they're in now, you got to get it ASAP. Yeah, no doubt about it. Stop. Open man, and he's got Williams. Touchdown, Lions. Four touchdown passes now for Jared Goff. And the Lions have extended their lead to 15 now here in the fourth. Boy, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. It's certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up this secondary. A clinic on how to attack a defense and take them out of the game. Goff looking to throw. And unable to connect. They don't get the two-point conversion here. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending it? You just make sure you never back up and you never retreat. You, you establish yourself really on the line of scrimmage, put your heels on the goal line at worst, and if they're going to throw the ball, make them throw it over your head because they're going to run out of space because of the back of the end zone. Never let a guy catch one in front of you. And Patterson back out there to send this one away. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. And it's becoming more and more apparent that this is just not going to be their night. That Lombardi trophy so close, but the expectations simply have not matched the results as they start on this drive first and 10. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their own 18. Now back to throw. Gets this quickly to Ingram. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Lawrence. Crossing route, and he hits his man. It's Jones. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards there on the play as they try to chip away at this 15-point deficit. And for as poorly as this offense has looked at times, it's the fourth quarter and they're still in this game. That's a good, confident throw right there. And now, who knows? If you can put a drive together here, you can make something of this game after all. Lawrence. He'll find Jones again, complete. And he's brought down. Defensively here, you've got the cushion, but back-to-back -back pretty big pass plays there. Bend but don't break, but are they bending too much? I think that they are. To me, it'd be like playing basketball and you put up a token press. Make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time. Make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat. Lawrence's throw into the hands of Kirk. And they will get him down, but not before he gets very good yardage there, as that will lead us right into the two-minute warning. 
Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and ten. And now a loose football. The ball comes out. And now this ball picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be blown dead. Only the fumbler can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. Here comes second down and five. Throwing again here. It's Lawrence. He'll drop that underneath ETM. And the Jaguars are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. In this case, he picks up a first down. From the shotgun, Lawrence toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle, so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. Second down, goal to go. Now Lawrence. On the slant, he'll get it to Jones. Touchdown! Zay Jones from eight yards out. And the Jaguars get a bit closer. Okay, so they got the score. Do you go for one here and save the possible two-point conversion for later? I think you do because if you go for two here and you don't get it, that's deflation. Yeah. Now you wonder why you're even going for it. Take the easy one now and come back and try and get it later. McManus's point after is good as this gets him back within a touchdown and a two-point conversion. We gotta have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he's gonna take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Here is third down and four. Counter play. Here's Gibbs. And he won't get close. Only a yard. Fourth and three. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. No shortage of offense in this game, but a very clean game, too, Charles. Each side got its points, but they did so without committing a single turnover. That's so true, and it certainly felt like NFL football at its finest, right? You talk about the highest level for both of these offenses. Neither one of them afraid of taking risks, or both of them aggressively pushing it downfield. I did like, Brandon, how smart they were about going about their business, though. They were high flying, but they took care of the ball. Yeah, they did. And just keeping it clean in a game like this with all these points, you don't see that very often, even at the highest level. Job well done by both sides. 